Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my first impressions on the BRS Evolve Apache. So this is a knife that was loaned in to me by my good buddy Chris. Uh, go check out his channel. It's Grady's Gear. Um, let me see. I should have... I have a little keychain here from Grady. He sent me. Um, he's just a really cool dude. Pretty new to YouTube. He just crossed over 150 subs, I think. Um, just become a buddy at this point. And um, yeah, he sent me a few knives and pens to check out. So I'm very glad that he did that. I'll leave this here while I talk. Um, and I want to talk about this knife. So the Apache guys is a knife I was always interested in. But I had never really pulled the trigger on because of size. I was a little worried it was a little too small for me. Um, because of cost. Because it was always like 160 bucks, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, and because I, I don't know anything about BRS Evolve, you know. And it just kind of... It's a thing where if you don't know a company too well, you're less likely to buy something from them for the first time. Um, and it's kind of nice to get something in from them to check out and kind of feel their quality out a little bit. And I do have to say for 160 bucks, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Um, their machining quality is very good. You can see some micro milling going on. Now, BRS is obviously really well known for their um butterfly knives for their ballast songs sorry bally songs whatever the hell they're called i'm not a flipper guy so i don't you know um i don't know much about it but that's where they have kind of made their mark and then they've moved into flippers these kinds of flippers with um brs evolve and then they've also kind of gotten into the budget knife realm with uh revo revo i have not checked any of those out either those are like uh you know your usual g10 and d2 or you know maybe assisted knives that kind of stuff that i'm not really interested in um but that is something they do and it's interesting to see them kind of uh you know uh go out of their comfort zone a little bit and into uh you know kind of a premium uh flipper and I will say, again, they did a great job here. I mean, uh, I'm pretty impressed overall. You will see here the centering is slightly off. Um, definitely not perfect there. Um, there's a little bit of play in there, but not a lot. Um, but you will see it shake shut. It's not the best on the shake shut. But I do have to stress the detent. They nailed it on detent. Um, this knife comes out of there with authority god if i hit that fucking focus button one more time man i need to look up how to turn that off um <laughs> sorry so um yeah they did a great job on the detent that's me going to the break right there i mean seriously nailed it and it's not too strong it never feels like it, it, it starts to hurt or anything. Um, they, they did a great job with it. And then I think maybe part of that is they put enough lock bar pressure on there to get that detent to hold. Um, so it doesn't exactly drop shut, right? And again, there's a little bit of wiggle in there. I'm sure I could tighten that up. That could just be, you know, from me playing with it. Um, but overall, it's smooth. It's 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 well dialed in. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with the action. I also like the fact that they have a reversible clip on here. So for a premium titanium flipper type deal, yeah, usually you don't get the reversible clip these days, and and I do appreciate that. So I've been able to carry this lefty. Um, it is a bit weighty for such a small knife. Um, might as well do some comparisons, right? Um, I just had my pair of three out today. Um, so you could check that comparison out. That's a pretty comparable knife right there. Right? Um, so I think it's a good size. But you'll see a big major difference between these two. You have the uh, Apache 
which does not have a finger choil. And then you have the uh, para three, which does. And that finger choil is very important when it comes to ergonomics and one of the drawbacks of this knife right here. The ergos on the para three just, you have a similar package, but you have this choil up here and this ramp up here with good jimping, right? On here, I can go to a back grip where it's similar in size to when I'm on this grip, but I have this ramp for really solid control. And then I have this finger choil where I can do this and get amazing control or even ride up the blade a little bit. And I just, again, I feel like I'm in control of this blade, right? Um, and on this knife, you just don't get that. Um, I, if I have my hand on the grip, you'll see my pinky's coming off. Um, I can maybe squeeze them all on if I really try, right? Um, but this jimping up here is terrible. It's really spaced apart and rough. Um, it's just not my kind of jimping. And I can't do any type of flipper choil move here because of the way this flipper choil, choil is shaped. So I'm stuck back here, which it it's a decent grip. It's not like uncomfortable. It is a little bit with this jimping, but I, I don't feel like I have a lot of control of this blade, even though it's only like three inches, it feels far away, right? Um, an example of a good flipper choil, even if you don't have a finger choil, like on a pair of three, is a finch. You see the shape of that flipper tab compared to this one? I can put my finger up here and I am comfortable and I am in control and I don't feel like I'm going to cut myself. Now, I can't say that I recommend this to everybody because a lot of people are going to scream in the comments, but I could easily use this knife like this and, and not feel like I'm at some kind of a safety risk, right? Um, and then I can also hold it back here and it's comfortable. But um, obviously, you know, this is a different knife. But I'm just trying to show you that there is a way to have just a flipper and not, no choil and still have a comfortable way to choke up. But this knife does not have it. Um, it does have this kind of huge drop point or spear point uh, with all this belly right here. It's a very tall grind, right? Um, it does come down to a thin edge. I mean, it is a sharp knife. Um, I've enjoyed cutting uh, paper with it. I tried that. It did very well. I opened a package with it. Did very well. Um, no issues there. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's good in the action department because of that detent. Um, it's a good cutter. It's not the most comfortable knife, um, you know, and I'll go through the rest of my kind of um, categories when I do the full review, but I just kind of wanted to do my first impressions and just give my take on it so far. Um, I like it and I'm glad I got to finally check one out, but I'm also glad I never bought one. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. Um, I think if you have a smaller hand, you may feel different about that and you may really like this knife if your hand really filled this out or fit very well in here. Uh, but I still don't, this jimping is very rough. Like, I feel like I could open a bottle with each one of these, you know? Um, so I don't know, but I like the looks of it. I love that micro milling on there. Um, so I get some better lighting in here. Uh, I love that micro milling. Very well done for 160 bucks. Now you are going to get uh, S35VN. I'm 90% sure that's what's on here um, is S35VN, which is, you know, I'm fine with that steel. I'm not exactly fine with it for um, 160 bucks, but, you know, this day and age with the milling and all that stuff, I think it's fine. I don't think the price is like ridiculous or anything. So anyway, that's a quick uh, first impressions. I'm not going to take this apart. It's not my knife. Um, so quick first impressions and take on the BRS Evolve Apache. Uh, big shout out again to Chris over at Grady's Gear. 
Really appreciate him for sending this my way. He's just a really cool dude. Again, I've said that plenty of times. Go check out his channel. Give the man some support. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.